Hi guys, this is The Running Man, thanks very much for checking out this video. This is a little bit of pre-video Inception style narration. I tried to do this all in one take, but in the one take I forgot to mention the software that I actually used to do this, so I need to just let you know that first. So, just to qualify, I'm using GIMP, which is free software, it's like uh, Adobe Photoshop, but it's free. So, it's not quite as detailed as Adobe Photoshop, but it's freeware, you can download it. I've put a link in the description to where you can download GIMP. It's really, really good, it's great for using for thumbnails and for stuff like this. And the editing software I use is Vegas 14. I've got a legitimate copy of Vegas 14 just to let you know what editing software I'm using as well. Just to put your mind at ease, I have already been editing the next actual DayZ video. It's nearly done. I'm hoping to have that out on Sunday this week. So uh, it's going to be uh, about losing all your gear and getting all your gear back again all too quickly. Kind of like the gambling mentality in DayZ. You lose it all, you maybe get it all back again double quick if you're lucky. <laughs> anyway, let's crack on with this video. We're going to start with the one take. And there is one more piece of narrateception to come a little bit later on, so I'll speak to you then. Other than that, it's on to the boring take. Catch you later. Love you, bye. I'm going to noob this along. I'm going to do it in one take, so prepare for unprofessionality. That isn't even a word, but anyway, here we go. Uh, so... Recently I've started doing uh, routes on maps using dots. Uh, I didn't watch any tutorials to work out how to do it, I just kind of found my own way. I'm sure there's better ways of doing it, but this is my way of doing it. I've been asked quite a few times how I do it, so I thought I'd make a video. Uh, why not? Probably won't be very useful for most of my regular audience, but people that make YouTube videos or Twitch highlights into YouTube videos, whatever, it might be useful for you guys. This doesn't take very long, so that, that's the good side, good side of it, right? So what we're looking to do is... Uh, make a gif an animated gif uh, of the uh, of the route we want to take so we've got a map in front of me here and i'm looking to go from here at pavlova military base to the edge of this town here zelenogorsk if you don't watch daisy well doesn't matter the point is i need to go through this forest and get to there that that's what i'm trying to do so how i do it i've this is the map i've already just put these names in myself and everything it's all on one layer so there's one layer which is the map that's what you want. You want one layer, which is the map that you want to navigate or the picture that you want to draw lines around, whatever it might be. But this works for anything. This is how you do it. So what I do is I take something. You could use anything. You could literally do it by painting dots on yourself. You could uh, you could do dots. You could do individual dots using just a circle and any color you like. But I like to use one of my Twitch emotes. This one, it's just a little gold running man logo. You could literally do anything. You could go to Google and Google search transparent dots and get a dot with a transparent background, you could use that, whatever, but anything you like. I'm gonna do it with this though. I find it personally easier to do something that I can cut and paste. That's a bit big, so let's scale the layer down to a size that feels right. Uh, let's, try, uh, let's try 38. Let's settle on 34, that'll do. I probably I might change this for the actual video, but let's just do that. So all, all we're looking to do in, in the in the scene that I'm making for the video, I'm on, I'm on this edge here. So my first dot's just going to go there and I'm just looking to come through the forest in the game. I went this way and kind of followed down there. So I'm just trying to look and make that arc. So all you do to create the dots is create a new layer. So if we do duplicate layer, you create a new layer and move the first dot. And then you, you're always duplicating the layer you've just created. So just duplicate again and move, move the dot. And it's very, very quick. It's really, really quick. You need each layer to be separate. Each dot needs to be a different layer. And that, that's it. So it's very straightforward. So we're just going to crack on with this. And I'll catch you on the other side. Right, we're nearly done. The reason I like to use uh, a symbol is, one, it makes it specific to my channel. But two, it feels a lot easier to drag and drop and duplicate like we're doing here than it is to, if you do a dot yourself and you draw a dot, you have to open a layer, draw a dot, open a layer, draw a dot. If you're using a symbol, you just duplicate it and drag, duplicate it and drag, it just seems a bit quicker. That's the little route that I needed to plot. I kind of, the video is gonna pick up about where we are there. So that's the dots in place for the route that I need to take. It's roughly right, the route I actually took in the game, that's pretty accurate. Uh, what you can then do, if you go to uh, somewhere up here, uh, we're looking for animate. There we go, filters. So you can go to animation and you can play back and we can see how it's going to look. So if we just have a look, there we go. That That's what it's going to animate. We now need to save it and, well, we need to export it as a GIF. So let's just close that. So when you come to export it, I'm going to export it, uh, export to, 
It's called Pavlovo to Mili, to Mil, Pavlovo Mil to Zell. That's what it is. But we're not saving it as a, a PNG file or a JPEG. We're saving it as a GIF. So you change that to GIF, and then click Export. And then my map is bigger than the uh, the actual visible bit you see there. So I'm just going to let it auto crop it. So that that's that. Right. This bit's quite important. We need to just check this. So we need to. It's we don't need a GIF comment. That's irrelevant. Uh, it doesn't matter though, as animation, so we're, we're exporting it as an animation. We don't want it to loop forever, because it's just going to play once in a video that you make, so you don't need it to loop. Uh, I always set my delay between frames to 150, uh, 150 milliseconds. I've just found that that works for me when I put it into Vegas and start playing around with it. That's where it works for me, so that's how I have it. You could set that and play around with it, have it however you like. Uh, that That's that, and this bit is really important. Frame disposal where unspecified. You need to have it as cumulative, cumulative layers. So what you're looking at to do is animate each layer one on top of the next, on top of the next, on top of the next. If you don't have it set to cumulative layers, it deletes the dots behind as you're drawing the dots in front. And if you want to plot the route, you want the dots from the start to still be there as you get to the end, so it's displayed. So as, as we saw it just animate there, if you set it to cumulative layers, then it will export as we need. So. Uh, I'm ready to export it. The only thing I'm not ready to do is see where it's going to go. So let me. Uh, where did I set it to? Let's uh, let's put it in some dodgy desktop file. Uh, there we go. So we export it to there. Crop uh, as animation. So we're going to set that to 150. And here's the last piece of narrateception. I actually forgot to check the box that says use delay entered above for all frames. It doesn't really matter, it still worked for this video and I could do it, but I changed that box to 150 milliseconds. So that, 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 that's the gap between each frame in the GIF. Uh, and if you change the number and don't tick that box that says to use the delay entered above, it doesn't actually use the number you entered. So if you're going to change it to 150 like I do in this video, make sure you tick that box that says use delay entered above for all frames and then it will actually do it that way. You cannot do it, leave it set to 100 as standard and then play around with it in Vegas, but I've found that if you have it set to 150, it gives you a little bit more play in terms of making it longer or shorter as you want in Vegas. So make sure you change that uh, and tick that box if you're going to do what I've just done there. Anyway, let's get back to the video. And cumulative layers, and then we didn't need to click that, and then just export. And now it's going to export that GIF. So it's exporting a GIF now, and it's done it, okay? The last thing we need to do is open up Sony Vegas, which I'm just going to do, and then uh, we'll, we'll go through that and we'll restart just as I drag this GIF, GIF into Vegas. I won't be a sec. Right, here we are. Okay, so uh, we're back into Vegas. I've got the uh, the GIF just in, in the project. Uh, now, Vegas is really, really funny with GIFs. It doesn't like GIFs at all. If you try to use, if you try to just put this into your video ready for editing, it, it just hates it. GIF, GIFs and Vegas don't mix, so you click play. There's no dots, there's no nothing, it just doesn't like it. Uh, so the easiest way to make this usable so that it works more easily for your video, if we just, uh, before we do anything else, if we just go to properties, disable resample, uh, okay, because we don't want any shadowing and that sort of framey effect you get with that. So disable resample, you should do that for all your videos, uh, but now we've got this, I'm not going to do anything to it to expand it or contract it or anything, but we're just going to quickly render it. It's only three seconds, so it'll take hardly any time at all. But if we render that, uh, render, 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 render as, there we go. Uh, I have like a little just using Vegas settings render that I use just for GIFs. So, uh, so my video is called the Trumpet Brothers. So this is the first map for this particular one. So I'm going to render it as Trumpet One. So I know that it's for that particular video because I'm actually going to use this GIF. But okay, so we're just going to render that. Uh, it won't take very long, but I'll see you on the other side. Right. Okay. Here we are back again. So the video rendered. It took about 30 seconds. Uh, now I've got a little video, which we're actually on the edited. This is the video I'm editing. So that was part one there, all done. This is part two here. And then part three is, is yet to be done. <laughs> but this is me editing. Now what I've done so far on the video, I've got the rough edit done. I've got all the, the parts I want. I've not really done the sound yet. You can see normally I put a lot of sound in down here, music and whatnot. But uh, I'm just doing the map section. So where I've left a gap is where I'm going to have a map. So there's going to be like three or four of these. But uh, this is the one that I'm doing here. What I like to do is add a picture as well. So of this, this is, this is the rendered uh, dot. So it's there. 
and you can see it works that that's now working smoothly so that was the payoff by rendering it what we do need to do is uh, just go to properties and disable resample again uh, I don't need the sound because there is no sound so we can delete that uh, <clears throat> so we've now got a working gif that is it's not a gif anymore it's now an mp4 uh, but that that is now working it will work in Vegas it's just a little video file that means that when you're trying to play back and you're looking at how your video is going you can uh, you can basically work it fine there's no issues whatsoever what I do like to do though uh, is I like to have if we look here I've, I've created a uh, and what I like to do is have a picture at the start because I like to sort of fade it in for a second but you want to fade it in on a still image so I fade it in for like one second like that this is just an image of the map before the dot so I tend to have that and so that then I can fade it in as I say something like that and then you can have the fade in and then the, the dot so it will play as you want you can of course make it longer if you want you can stretch it out uh, I'm pressing control and dragging for that but you, you can make it longer or shorter if you want to, to play around it doesn't give you too much play but how long are you really going to want this? If you want it to be slower, you'd need to change that milliseconds from 150 to something else. But that's much, much slower. I think that's way too slow, really. But yeah, there we go. You, you can move it around if you want to. And that's it. That, that's where we're at. That, that's, that's how I do dots on the screen. What I tend to do at the end as well, if, if I want to finish it, I get the very last frame, uh, which is there, and I make a copy of it. Just call it image 12. And then I put that on the end as well, and then you can uh, you can then fade that out if you want to as well. It depends how you do your transitions. There's lots of different ways to transition. That's a really simple one, but it then has a it has a fade up at the start and a fade down at the end, and the dots in the middle, and all is well. So the the end product looks like this. That's what it looks like. So that's how it will look in the video and then it will fade out to nothing. And that's it. That's how you put dots on the screen. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I know it's not really that useful unless you're into YouTube, but if you are, it, that's the most easy way to do it. It's, it's took a while to explain it, I guess, but when you get good at it, dragging and dropping a few layers, it's so simple. It's really easy to do. It makes your videos look more professional. And if you can use an icon or a logo that's relating to your channel and to you, or the game you play, then it just keeps it a bit more bespoke to you as well, which kind of makes it look nice as well. That's it for me, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you found this video useful, and I'll catch you in the next proper video, probably. Thanks a lot, guys. Catch you on the other side. Love you, bye.